going to show you a move to stop the long arm. That, this is the most uh, feared move, pass rush in football, for a simple reason. One, well, the first reason is because guys don't know how to protect their chest, which we've already talked about. You're going to protect your chest by keeping your hands in guard, minimizing your target and surface area. And uh, the way the long arm works is, I'm going to, is the defender gets his hand here. And again, they always say one arm is longer than two. So Colin's going to do the long arm here. By, by one arm is longer than two. See, I can't reach Colin here. He's got a long separation. I don't have any points of pressure I can, I can directly uh, influence leverage on him. So we want to prevent that from happening in the first place. So again, keep your hands tight and guard. That'll minimize your, your target. If a defender sees it, um, a lot of times there's a giant bullseye right here. He doesn't have to be really, he doesn't have to be real clean and crisp with where it lands, but it's the general vicinity is going to be effective. So we have to prevent that at all costs. If we happen to get a guy that slides his hand in there, he ha happens to catch us with, uh, with that long arm. Colin's going to throw his left hand in here. So as I'm going to tackle, I got caught with that long arm. Simple, we're going to do the corkscrew. And this is where we have pressure here. We're going to just simply go wipe out underneath and lift and elevate. Very similar to the fork technique, but this is a single arm method. So uh, if the guy happens to have his hand on my chest plate, we can also execute the fork. So this corkscrew turns into a submission move, and it's very effective. So all I need to do is raise this guy up. Don't chop him down because he's high. Remember, high hands hop, uh, low hands drop. We're going to keep his hand here. We're going to slide my, my arm across his in a tight spiral fashion and literally just come up underneath his pit and elevate. And if you need to get further elevation with your hip, just think, throw your head back a little bit. That's, a, that's another uh, coaching point. Some guys have a hard time getting their hips to full extension. And a good way to get those guys to think that way is to actually to, to, to throw their head back. Um, so again, we'll just walk through the, I missed, he's got me here. I come around the corkscrew and I hop, see what I've done. Now is that, he, Colin can feel that in his elbow, he kind of feel in his wrist. If he doesn't have a grip on my chest plate, let's just say he's here, it works just as well. I'm just going to come up and elevate his center of gravity. That's a corkscrew. It's real basic. It's nothing fancy. We just need to do it nice and tight and crisp. Hit that tight spiral, play long, and alleviate pressure, um, and we're on to the next play. If the defender's hand is high, we're going we're to corkscrew. So if he's up here around this area, high sternum or high chest, we'll come up underneath with a corkscrew and the fork. So we're going to actually uh, start applying pressure to that, uh, that elbow joint and the wrist. Um, if he's a little bit lower, if you don't feel like, maybe in that case, if you still feel like you're, you're low enough, you can get underneath them, perhaps, but it's a kind of a judgment call. In this case, I'm going to go with the knife technique. And again, it's just here. I've got stuck with a long arm. I'm coming here to here. And I don't just stop and chop. I want to drop him. So I'm coming down and I'm just, I'm going to drop him down. I'm going to use pressure as I, as I strike him to try to deliver him to the ground. And uh, by doing that, we have to jump back at the same time to disconnect that pressure, which is critical because otherwise if we're just, if we don't do anything about it, I'm just chopping his arm. Yeah, it may hurt, but we're getting run into the quarterback. So we'll execute. Colin's got, he's just fit in on the long arm. He's pushing me back. Okay. And now he's down the ground. So it's real simple stuff. We got to get really effective with our hands, real tight and concise. Don't bring it up too high because what that does, it raises our center of gravity further. We want to just literally just drop that down on him. And uh, something you got to drill with people, you got to feel it for yourself. Um, high level move, but it's something worth uh, developing uh, skill wise. <laughs>